segment, I'm going to show you how to give the checkmate when you have the king and the rook and your opponent only has the king. One thing to remember is that the rook alone cannot deliver the checkmate. That means that you need to help your rook with your king to be able to do that. You start by playing a move like this. The idea is to cut off the king and to reduce the amount of space that the king has. Then further, the idea will be to have the king opposed and then give a check so that the king has to move back. And once the king completely runs out of squares, we are going to deliver the checkmate. So after um, the first move, rook to h4, it is black to move. And um, it's in black's best interest to keep the king in the middle and um, uh, try to um, uh, stay in the middle of the board because the king really cannot be checkmated there. To be checkmated, this king needs to be pushed all the way to the back rank or to one of the sides. So white starts by um, uh, following this king, going here, and sooner or later when you follow the king, this king is going to run out of squares and once the kings are op opposed, that's the moment to give a check. Because the king is controlling those three squares, the king can't move forward, can't stay where it is because of the rook, and the king is pushed back. When that happens, you start following the king immediately with your king. And if the king moves back, for example, that's when you give a check. Push the king back. You just want a little bit of extra space and continue following the king. Now, in the situation like this, of course, you don't want to continue following the king, otherwise you're going to lose your rook. So play a waiting move, and if need be another waiting move, follow the king, and when the kings are opposed, give this check, follow the king, Move the rook out of the way. One more waiting move. And finally, it's time to deliver the checkmate. And that's how you give the checkmate with a king and a rook.